this is going to be a long time. God damn it. Fuck you. Just fuck you, dude. Fuck you, fuck you. Man, I'm probably going to have to take a piss break, too. Now. Uh-uh. No touchy. I'm a chameleon, not a strip lizard. Yeah, piss off. But anyways, ever since... Well, I probably already said it, but I'm unsure if I did yet. If you get him in your sight before he teleports, finishes his teleporting procedure, he will teleport again. Which means if you're looking in the middle of one of my teleports, he'll probably go away unless it's like this one or the blue one. Wow, that's a lot of flame. Ha! Got you two in one move. Eh, eh. Oh, you douche. There's no way I could avoid that. Ever since then, though, that Pontiac's been in here, like, every time. Or, Honda. You get what I mean. It's been in here, like, so often. It's, like, basically up his ass, and he's, like, trying to tell he moved on to a Ford or a Chevy or something. Which reminds me of what I heard definitions of the, those words stand for. In your f face, birdie. Nah. Oh, fuck. But anyways... I heard definitions of those that were supposed to, like, be funny. I heard from one, one for Pontiac and one for Ford. And I actually found them quite funny, even though they're racist. And, well, one of them's racist. I actually did find it funny because I can take racism. I feel that if I can take racism towards me, which I actually have for, which I actually did for, like, ten years once... In your face, kitty cat. But I took racism for like 10 years. I think I have the right to make fun of someone as long as I can take the heat too. I can take the heat. It's just them who can't. They're going to be like, eh, you racist. It's like, oh, grow the fuck up. You're going to brag on me about anything that's wrong with me. You may as well have something wrong with you too that I can rip on for it. Hell, that's one thing I just can't stand in life. Discrimination. Anyone who's a hater can just go in a pit and die. Hey, I may actually win on my third try. You never know. I speak too soon for whenever I talk. I hope I realize that. Man, oh man. I was hoping I'd actually would have to, like, cut so much from this recording so I can make a blooper video. Unless I get hit, like, seven times in the next... Blah, 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 blah. I won't be able to make a bloop. And his flames are getting faster on their falling speed. Which means they will be more clustered when he shoots them, in this case. Which explains why it's so much harder to dodge. See, look how fast he's shooting those things out. With the more flames he shoots, there's more damage you can do to him in them as well. In this case, it's qua quantity. Piss off, kitty. Close, close. Damn it. Darn you, epic pause fail. Yeah, he's done. Fuck you, kitty. Huh, well, that's actually the end. That's the last boss. Now he gets taken in by some ancient light beam from Mercedes or something. I don't know. He just gets taken away. And now we're going to watch Jack sprint for about 15 seconds. Well, 15 seconds for this level. It's really going to take him like two minutes. But with all honesty... This is definitely a good game, if I'm to be asked. I enjoy it, I play it, I recommend it. If you're looking for some challenge on a blind run, in any case, if you watch this, you fucked up a blind run, way to go. 
pardon. But I recommend this if you're trying to enjoy yourself or try to get a couple of cracks and your friends to laugh at you a couple of times while you play and look, well, fail amazingly, if you will. Ah, yes. It's finally over. Now the credits will start to roll while he runs in an epic fashion while falling Chinese symbols. I can't find a better description because I already used the adjective falling. Pillars! Anyways. The game itself is definitely a good one. Better graphics than the first one. They give you variety on main character choices. That's cool. And the bosses actually have a nice challenge to them. Especially that last one. I mean, just think about it. In these last, what, three or four parts, I've had like... I had like six game over screens. Yeah, I bet you loved that. You got to see three of me from falling and two of them from me dying or something like that. But with all honesty, love this game. Great game from my childhood. First, this was one of the first games I ever got from my Nintendo 64. Me and my sister shared it and it was all fun. Special thanks to Super Mario Club. I just noticed that. Why... If Nintendo actually... It's on the GameCube. Of course I support you, you idiot. God, I wish I would have thought that through. And now we're here at Mr. Crossbreeding Mammal Reptile Person Thingy's house. He's here to rape us and molest us as a trophy for the game. Yeah. How did you like this world? Fuck you. Simple as that. Fun, huh? You want fun? Go home and buy a monkey! Asshole. Come back and play again sometime. Yeah, maybe later, after you quit driving me cuckoo bananas. And then we descend from the heavens from what we began, playing teeter-totter with da Fred or Davy, I forget which. Blue lizard with orange pack pack. Those colors clash nicely. <laughs> I like how orange and blue just clash. It's beautiful. And well, that's conclusion. Pyramid land clear. Twelve coins. Congratulations. Thank you. Finn. Thank you for playing Chameleon Twist 2. Yeah, that's it guys. It was a fun game and all. I kind of feel bad that I didn't get to, like, mess up more than three times, so I had, like, a whole bunch of blooper reels for you. But, it was fun. It was fun for me. And I hope you enjoy it, too. If any of you are playing it, I hope this was a helpful guide for you. I'll show you what to do and how to do it easier and whatnot. But I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Have fun playing through your own game.